everyone, Jen Kemp here. I'm the founder of the Master Brand Institute, where we guide founders, experts, thought leaders, and entrepreneurs to build a wildly profitable personal brand from the inside out through the power of team, identity, messaging, and experiences. Are you ready to get into today's Reddit story? This week, our story is about dynamic work environments and delving into strategies for addressing offensive comments effectively. Am I the asshole for saying harsh things to an employee I manage? I manage this one employee named Clarissa, and while she's a good worker, I suppose, I don't really like her personally. <laughs> I feel she's too reassurance seeking and slow. At first, in week one, Clarissa struck me as someone who was very thorough, inquisitive, and asking all the right questions. She asked a lot of questions, but did good work and had great accuracy. It was the best of the eight total people I managed, and I was really impressed. Then she got to go for work training for a week in week two. When she got back in week three, her accuracy plummeted. Our process changes daily, and she had not kept up with work. Clarissa came back seeming inattentive, unsure, and inaccurate. She made several serious errors multiple times, and I had to closely supervise her work. I also told her that she was the only person who was doing the work differently because of those errors. Seeing that she was inaccurate, presumably panicking and unsure, she was also moving much more slowly than most of the other seven people I manage. She was triple and 4x checking her work, and I had to tell her to speed it up. She was doing about 20 tasks a day, the bare minimum, whereas others did 40 to 60 tasks, albeit with lower accuracy. Albeit with lower accuracy. Okay, we're gonna get back to that. Granted, I did check her work at the end of week three and her accuracy was getting back to topping everyone else's. I congratulated her on that. Then she worked with another manager named Cole. And Cole told me she asked way too many questions. I lectured her about being reassurance seeking and looking up answers first. Then she stopped asking me questions and I had to tell her to please feel comfortable asking me questions again as another person I managed named Olivia was getting all of Clarissa's questions. This week, week four, I fortunately had to lecture her less and her accuracy is still better than that of the others. However, I had to tell her to speed up again and she did. Today she did 42 tasks. But what annoyed me this week was she seemed unsure of this one process after I questioned her about did she really complete a task? Like, please be more confident, you know? In the end, despite the fact that Clarissa has the highest accuracy, I chose Olivia to help me correct others' work. Clarissa seems way too unsure and dependent, and Olivia has accuracy that's 15% lower, but she's dependable and likable. Am I the asshole for how I've treated Clarissa? Mm, I'm on the fence about this. I mean, my default is yes, you're the asshole because you seem like a real person who you think that work is about liking everybody and that's not true. So just because you don't, like it feels like, I don't know, you got a personal vendetta with this person. Like the first week she impressed you, then the next week she goes for work training, you don't see her so you forget that you even like her at all. Then week three, she comes back, she's trying to do her best and then, you know, She's accurate, but not as fast. And I guess if the KPIs of the company are that you have to be fast, but not accurate, I just hope y'all aren't making like vaccines or things that could kill people. Cause I would prefer quality or quantity, but again, I don't know your situation. Um, but most times people like things that don't break. Okay. So she sounds like somebody who is committed. Not everybody who, especially since you talk about, she got to do 42 tasks, that kind of work sounds like you want somebody who is committed, is okay with repetitive work. And if she has shown that she doesn't mind doing that kind of work, which most people don't wanna have, to be honest with you, you are missing out on an opportunity to have somebody who is loyal, dependable, and will make sure that your ass and the company you work for doesn't get sued in the future. Okay, so why don't you work on your leadership skills? Cause she is definitely not the asshole. <laughs> what are your thoughts comment down below also if you found value in this content please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you're notified when new content is released i can't wait to share the next story with you until next time